HDMI might be the most widespread video connector out there, but we think it's an injustice that DisplayPort isn't the king of connectors instead. Here are six ways DisplayPort is better than HDMI. One, DisplayPort can operate in places that you don't even see it. I'm talking about a derivative of DisplayPort called EDP, with the E standing for embedded. Whenever you're using a laptop or a tablet, there's a really good chance that there's actually a DisplayPort connection inside the machine that feeds the internal display. This is likely making your laptop cheaper, simpler, and thinner than it would otherwise be if it needed to rely on an internal HDMI protocol, which it can't do anyway because HDMI doesn't actually have an equivalent to this. In fact, with the right kind of adapter, EDP even allows you to repurpose an old laptop display. Hooray for standardization! Two, DisplayPort has a special alt mode that works over USB-C. Even if you have a computer that only has USB-C ports, there's a good chance it'll still support DisplayPort. In fact, one of the newest DisplayPort standards called UHBR20 can drive some seriously high resolution signals, so you're not exactly giving up any performance by not using the regular DisplayPort connector. The bad news is that DisplayPort alt mode over USB-C requires the monitor to explicitly support it, and it usually won't work with a source device that isn't a computer. It works on some consoles. But the good news is that if you do have a USB-C monitor, many of them support charging your laptop at the same time over that single cable for a superior clean setup. HDMI, on the other hand, well, it did have a similar alt mode, but hardly anything supported it, and it's been officially discontinued. Three, no royalties. Although both ports are very common in PC monitors, display manufacturers have to pay the HDMI forum a royalty in order to include an HDMI port in their product, between four and 15 cents per unit sold, which can start adding up if we're talking about a company that ships a lot of displays. On the other hand, DisplayPort is completely royalty free, with manufacturers only paying a fee to join VESA, which gives them access to the latest spec. To be clear, this doesn't mean that you're paying some kind of premium for HDMI products, as there are plenty of low cost displays and devices that feature HDMI, but the extraction of royalties has rubbed some enthusiasts the wrong way, especially when the HDMI forum makes a decision that's seen as unfriendly to consumers. We have three more reasons why DP is better, and we'll give you those right after we thank our sponsor, Videocom. We've all experienced that feeling of almost dozing off while trying to pay attention to boring slide after boring slide, get me out of here. With Videocom, you get access to a bunch of easy to use and intuitive features to spruce up your presentations, such as per slide webcam embedding, automatic cloud saving, and team collaboration tools. Ditch those boring generic PowerPoint templates and create an engaging experience with your audience. Check out Videocom at the link below and use code Linus for 50% off any paid subscription. Number four, daisy chaining. If you're running a multi-monitor setup, DisplayPort offers a more elegant way to drive all of your screens. You can just run another cable from one monitor to the next instead of connecting everything back to your PC. With the latest version of DisplayPort 2.1, you can daisy chain up to four 4K monitors running up to 60 frames per second. Pretty cool, especially if you have a limited number of ports on your computer to begin with. DisplayPort can do this because of a feature called multi-stream transport, meaning the link cable can actually carry multiple streams at once. Do be sure though that the monitors you buy have a DisplayPort output if you want to daisy chain, as some monitors only have a DisplayPort input. Five, it is much easier to convert DisplayPort to HDMI than to go the other way around. This is because of a feature called DisplayPort Dual Mode, or DP++, which can actually output a native HDMI signal through a physical DisplayPort connector. This means that adapters that run from a DisplayPort output to a screen with an HDMI input are straightforward to construct and cheap to buy. However, going from an HDMI source to a display sports screen is much more complicated as the adapter has to have active logic inside of it to convert the signal properly. And six, many display port cables have latches that actually keep the connector in place. Once you push the cable all the way in, a couple of latches will pop up and lock the cable to the device, often audibly. So to disconnect it, you then have to hold down a button on the end of the cable while you're pulling, mitigating the risk that your cable will come loose when you're in the middle of something really important. G gaming, and admittedly this isn't quite as cool as the other features we've discussed in this video, but it might be the most useful feature if you're one of the folks who likes to walk around the room with your laptop. But if you're worried about a cable being too difficult to remove, keep in mind that this is an optional feature, and there are plenty of cables out there that don't have these little hooks if you've just gotta go fast. So thanks for watching guys, if you liked this video, hit like, hit subscribe, and hit us up in the comment section with your suggestions for topics that we should cover in the future.